Hello from TeenYetDragon.com. This is DC Fu. Today we'll be talking about the magic sword and why we use it. So this is my uh, magic sword, wooden. We have a metal and a coin sword, but today we're going to talk about this one, the wooden sword. So the famous Talus wooden sword. <laughs> it's not like how the movie use it. Uh, mostly in the movie, they think this is the weapon to, to you know, fight vampires and stuff like that, chop ghosts. <laughs> It's not, okay? The purpose of having a magic sword is very, 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 very uh, hard to understand by using your normal logic because usually people think a sword is a weapon but yes, you can say it's a weapon but in magic, it's a little different, okay? The sword is used to stab into people oh, like this, okay? Now, if I want to communicate with dead object okay i cannot because the dead object is not going to respond to me but the dead object itself has some energies stored inside and what i'm going to do is i need to communicate with this uh thing and it's uh energy inside it's just a, just a look right here up close okay <laughs> so i need to communicate with the energy inside uh, for example, my altar right here, okay? Now, you can imagine that okay, this is like a ball of energy, okay? Now, I want to communicate with the energy side of this thing. I want to, I want to you know, really stab into it. Ooh, see? Stab into it, right? I want to take energy from the storage inside my altar, inside some kind of object, inside my containers. What to do? Well, you have your sword. First of all, using the sword, there's a, what we call the Gim Kut, which is to activate the sword power for a certain kind of purpose, okay? So basically, you have to draw your food and then shove it in here so that it powers up the sword first, and then, Sun, Gim Fatling. And then, we'll be doing our Gim Kut. So one of this is like this, okay? Ling Sum Jing Yan, Ling Tong Hang. Ling Chit! And then you stomp, like this and you stab into whatever you're going to uh, stab in okay it's like poking a needle into something and then withdraw now i have my energy withdraw lead back to the storage area and i can blend with other things see that's why we have the sword right so let's say okay um i have uh, just for example this thing okay i did a little portal uh, magic on it. So this is the representative of uh, person number one. Okay, person A. Now I want to give some of my reserved or uh, cultivated energy in my altar, in my statue maybe. Okay, I cultivated stuff into the statue before. Now I want to withdraw this certain type of power. Take and then blend with this and then put it into here. How do I do that? I can't just, you know, take the statue and then it's not going to work. I need to use a medium in order to reach the inside of this thing. So I need to face the statue, okay, do my thing. And then, uh, like with the spell, this I will be connecting myself and the statue itself then roll down and stab into the statue, okay? Counterclockwise, drill out, hold that energy, pull down all the way, and then maybe I will mixing mix this with an other thing right here, like this, and then I will now have this mixed whatever thing right here. And then I can take this and burn on top, or I can also take this, and then I will be like this, okay? Doing an other game crit right here, okay? He not sing fat sun long hey. Cup you look like chit and then flip over and then I can do the spell and like this and push it over. So you can see this thing is like uh like those fork, okay? You can poke and then grab something, take down, give like this, okay? It's sort of like that. But um, it's more powerful than that, okay? This can help you do a lot of things. For example, when we're doing a distant magic, we need to work on things that is uh, away from you. Get something far away, you need to use this thing. 
you'll be stabbing it into the pot to connect to someone else, uh, something like that. There's a lot of different ways to uh, use it. You can also use the sword to draw food in the air and such to, to do work to make these dead objects uh, energy, the inside energy to, to do some magic work for you. So, for example, I have this uh, Ling Pai right here, okay, this, this plate right here, okay? Now this thing have energies cultivated inside and the energies inside have um, the ability to communicate with me because it's, it's from myself. So, you cannot just talk to him, hello, hello, like this and then respond to you. You need to use a medium and then stab into it, okay, and then now you can tell it to do something and then grab and then direct it and give it to somewhere else, give it direction and now you pull out the energy and, and beam it to somewhere else and it will go. So basically a sword is like one of our most important tool uh, for doing magic. It is not for like, oh, chop goes and then you know, keep chop, 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 chop like that <laughs> and to, to fight. It's not like that kind of weapon. It, it, it's a weapon, okay, to stab into the energy body of uh, things in order, to, in order to withdraw, give or work with energies that you cannot touch on the surface. Okay, so that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe and like. Bye-bye.